Summer marks the time for another rollout, and PyCharm 2019.2 is now ready. Jupyter Notebook improvements, Python 3.8 support, duplicate code detection, and more. Let's take a look. Data science in Python is big, Jupyter especially, and 2019.2 provides many enhancements to the new Jupyter implementation in the previous release. By far the biggest feature request, run all, run above, and run below. We've all seen it, executing a cell with a value that depends on an unexecuted previous cell. PyCharm Professional now makes this easy to fix. Click the Toolbars Run button to run all the code cells in the notebook. This button is an action which can be searched via Find Action. As you can see, the action also has a keyboard shortcut. Run All isn't the only new way to run. The Jupyter Quick List button shows Run All Above, Run All Below, and more. PyCharm Professional makes your Jupyter Notebook look more like a Python file, and in 2019.2, this includes virtual padding. Each cell now has a virtual line above and below to make the notebook feel more like PEP8. This line is visual only and not saved to the notebook. The number of lines is configurable. Increase the number to get more padding. Set to zero to eliminate the spacing. PyCharm's debugger shows variable values in line when stopped at a breakpoint, and we extended this to Jupyter code cells. Want to easily see the variable values right by the code? Set a breakpoint, run the cell under the debugger, and PyCharm adds a preview of each value on the line that it occurs. That's not all for new Jupyter features. Improved server configuration. Restart the kernel without shutting down the server. And configurable line separators for code cells. PyCharm 2019.2 brings several useful changes and improvements for Python development. Python 3.8 is in beta, and as always, PyCharm has you covered. First, PyCharm now supports positional-only parameters introduced in PEP 570, giving warnings when you don't use a function properly. PyCharm will help you use these parameters correctly by showing parameter hints. When switching to an older Python as the project interpreter, PyCharm will give a warning in the function signature. Got a function that is only used once and should be inlined? Our new inline method refactoring does the work for you. If you have a defined function and the only usage is in another function, put the cursor on the invocation and start a refactoring. After the refactoring, the code is moved out of the invoked function, which is then deleted. Previous releases let you find duplicated code fragments and PyCharm Professional 2019.2 takes this a step further with a configurable inspection. Let's say you have a reasonable chunk of code which winds up repeated somewhere else in your code base, the same file or somewhere else. PyCharm triggers a weak warning which you can inspect for more information and options, such as displaying project duplicates in the tool window. What does reasonable chunk of code mean? It's a threshold score based on lines and expressions, which as you'd expect, is configurable. Our IDE platform has been improving, as usual, with several important new features. Do you have some files in your project in another language than Python? PyCharm will now do code highlighting for many popular languages out of the box by using TextMate bundles. Have another language that we don't bundle? You can go to the preferences to add it manually. Shell scripting is still popular and 2019.2 adds basic bash support. Hooks to an external shell script formatter. Autocomplete on symbols. As well as file paths. Quick documentation. And more. It's important to look good, and in 2019.2, our IDEs have sharpened up their look, especially on Windows. 
PyCharm's built-in HTTP client is a productive way to do REST development, but the command line curl application is still popular. 2019.2 makes it easy to reuse a curl command. Just select and copy the text, inside or outside of PyCharm, then paste it into the .http file you are editing. PyCharm will detect that it is curl and convert it to the HTTP file syntax, which can then run. Also in 2019.2, improved editor config support in the IDE platform with per directory config files. Visual version control has long been a strength of our IDEs and in 2019.2 improves the developer experience. Using compare with current to see changes between two Git branches, the log tab for that comparison can now list all commits that exist in one branch and do not exist in the other. PyCharm 2019.2 brings refined Jupyter Notebook integration, along with many other improvements in Python and our IDE platform. We hope you enjoyed this release, and thanks for watching this What's New video.